Good morning, Bulldogs. Today is Friday, April 1st. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, guys. And now into the weather with Madison. Today's weather is a high 51 and a low 38. And now it's time for EPSN. Oh, I gotta, I gotta go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Welcome back to EP. SN. The boys had their first games on Monday and Wednesday. They played Wellsville. The girls did too. Now, now back, back to you. And now it's time for... Within These Walls. That's all for this week. We hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry, sorry. <laughs> wait, wait, my feet are freezing. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, so, do you know what you're saying? Yeah. To start it? Today's weather. No, no. Oh, yeah. Okay, start three, it. two. Hi. So. Nope, I missed no, that. No. <laughs> well, if it's not your birthday, you know whose birthday it is? The Happy Birthday Song, which came out. I already forgot the. 1924. 1924. Thanks, guys. And, uh, then it was warm and I forgot the words. Let's see if the anchors are awake. A week? Wait! A week. Judging by the snow, I guess I was wrong. Let's see if the anchors are awake this week. Uh. What? In what? In what? <laughs> Yo, I'm walking down the stairs. Oh, that's so epic and awesome and interesting. Oh, stairs. 
Wow, there's so much fun stun, 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 stun. <laughs> All right, wow, there's so much fun stuff happening within these walls. I accidentally just started this. Out the back. That was hard. Wow, there's so much fun stuff happening within these walls. Oh. Ah. That's all for this week. We hope you enjoyed. <laughs> if you did it! <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's all for this week. I'll see you tonight. At our school's production of Newsies. In other words, I know. In other words? <laughs> Don't. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I said it. Okay, wait. Today's weather is a high of 20. Okay, no. Hey Bulldogs, today we're doing an unboxing of this microphone we found in a in a desk drawer. It's a Movo MC1000 conference microphone. It's a box. It sure is. It's what it looks like. Um, oh, so I see a box. I'm just gonna open this tab here. Pull it right out. I don't know if I've opened this before because I know I knew it was in there, but okay, I guess not because it's still wrapped. I just see a box. It's still wrapped in plastic. Whoa! So we got the manual of this thing, um, and this sticker. is it. It is about as big it's as a like your fist. Um, it's a microphone. Yes, it's a microphone. It's, not it's like supposed microphone. to lay flat on a table. It's got your cable, the microphone itself. Looks like it's got the micro USB and a headphone input. Not much What's else though. It's a it's an older older cable. Oh, uh, so USB one? micro USB. Yeah, micro USB and then yeah. USB two. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's it. I mean, I opened it. It's about that big. That does look really cool though. We should use it. Thank you, Bull. And now onto this week's segment of Out and About.
There's an old tale I heard once long, long ago. It's very difficult to pinpoint this as a fact due to lack of evidence. But the story goes something along the lines of uh, way back when, in an unknown date, time, or even year, Abraham Lincoln was contacted by the Pharaoh of Egypt. And the Pharaoh was like, yo, my homie, I'm building a new pyramid. I kind of need some help. Can you lend, lend a hand? Abraham Lincoln was like, no problem, fam. I got you. Give me one second. So he hangs up his dial-up phone, dials up an unknown contact. It's like, yo, Jonathan, I need some help. I'll meet you at Egypt. Hangs up the phone. So he takes the first flight available to Egypt, and he meets the pharaoh. He looks around at this great massive desert with nothing in it except a few triangles. He goes, man, I could build a great shopping center here. And the pharaoh goes, a shopping center? What would you even call it? It's in the middle of the desert. And Abraham Lincoln goes, well, I'll call it the mall. So the pharaoh and Lincoln are in this desert watching this land as suddenly a black dot appears in the sky. Now the pharaoh's like, hey yo, what is that? And then Lincoln goes, yo, calm down. I called him in, that's my bro Johnny. He's coming down. And so this dot gets really big. And there is a literal flying saucer that came from space. And then Abraham's like, there's Johnny. And all of a sudden, they start building a pyramid as he asked. And this pyramid's not just any pyramid, it is a giant pyramid made of glass. And it looked perfect. It was amazing. The pharaoh was like, yes, this is great. This is perfect. And everyone was happy. The British quickly became, came to colonize the land, taking the pyramid with them and bringing it to a new America in the westernmost part of the North Carolina Territory. The aliens cursed the pyramid for 300 years, making it invisible, while a city is quickly built around it, which will later be known as Tennessee. Finally, on this day, November 9th, 1991, the city of Memphis, Tennessee awoke to the sound of angelic singing, as before their eyes, unbeknownst to them, hidden for centuries, something great had appeared, something Amazing, perfect even. The Bass Pro Shops Pyramid, the seventh largest pyramid on the face of the earth. So class, my point to be made here is that while this tax shooter does look more expensive when it first starts, and the dart monkey turns out to be less expensive when you start, the price ramps up fairly fast for the monkey, but not as fast for the tack shooter. So it ends up being better for early game, but the monkey ends up being better for late game. And, Eddie, have you been asleep this whole time? No, no, not no, no. <sighs> well then, what's better for early game? Banana. <sighs> Anyways, Poor class. Number. This concludes my lesson on Loon's TD6. That's all for this week. See you next week. We'll catch you on the flip side. Peace, love, love and go, go Bulldogs. Bulldogs.